King Jesus, King Jesus. Hey, okay. Hey, I wanted to bring attention to this uh, Facebook community I found called Killed by Police. And this site records every police murder or police killing in the United States for the year. And it's interesting because uh, right now they recorded, uh, let's see, 1,557 police killings as of September 24th, 2014. That's a lot of people killed. The overwhelming majority of the people they killed are blacks, but they have some whites, people that they've killed, generally not by shooting. Like this gentleman here, his name is John Wayne Gill. He was killed, he was number 1,555 for the year. He was killed on September 20th, uh, two th uh, 2014. He was an inmate in the, uh, at the Pine, Pine County uh, Jail where he was arrested for disorderly conduct. Apparently, they beat him to death. So he wasn't like shot in the streets like they generally do black people. Another interesting case is uh, this case here. This case here where uh, a St. John deputy was killed after shooting at his colleagues. He was a 25 year veteran and a lieutenant at the St. John, the Baptist Parish Sheriff, Sheriff's Office states here. He was number 1,556. His name is uh, Lieutenant Nolan Anderson. And he says he was a deputy shot and killed by a fellow deputy who was involved in a domestic dispute Wednesday in the place, St. John the Baptist, authority said. When you read the article, St. John Parish deputy killed colleague who fired it on them in a place standoff. It says, uh, that's the, uh, in the times, Picayune of, uh, New Orleans. It says, Sheriff's deputy shot and killed a fellow deputy who opened fire on them Wednesday while they were investigating a domestic dispute at his daughter's house in the Place. Authorities said, neighbors and a relative identified the dead officer as Lieutenant Nolan Anderson, a 25-year veteran of the St. John the Baptist Parish Sheriff's Office. Anderson in uniform and on duty and his wife Lisa were at their daughter's house on Pine Street near Captain G. Bourgeois Bar 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 Street when Anderson called the Sheriff's Office on his radio. The nature of their dispute was not released, but Sheriff Mike Tree, Tree Gree said the deputy made statements that let us know how serious the situation was. WDSU Television quoted unidentified sources said the officer was holding his wife hostage. Anderson hit his wife several times with the gun, authorities said. When deputies arrived at the house, Anderson fired several shots at them, said Trooper Melissa Mady, spokeswoman for the state police, Troop B. They tried to talk him into dropping the weapon. When he continued pointing it their way, they shot him. Lisa Anderson was taken to the hospital for treatment. Her husband was commander of the Sheriff's Office Warrant Division. Some people said he shot his wife. Some said they shot, he shot himself and he's dead his uh, uncle said. So, uh, for comparison, this number of killings by the police are more killings in a year than the cities of Chicago where the president comes from. And they're very critical of the number 
of best in Chicago, which, you know, is uh, something to, to be critical of. But uh, in 2013, it says that there were 415 homicides. In New York, there were 417. There were 417 in New York and 415 in Chicago. The number of homicides in New York and Chicago combined are far less than the number of people killed by the police nationwide. I thought this was interesting and I wanted to make a video about it. And I'm going to do a couple of videos on a couple of police shootings that are not reported in these statistics.